a great performance, I thought, from Spain and really testament to how far this young team has come on. Do you remember, Dave, before the podcast, when, uh, before the Euros, when we did our predictions and I said Spain would be the first big side out? That aged well, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> yeah, they've been excellent. They've been really, really good. Yeah. And we've talked a couple of times about the, the excellent width of this side and how they're using wingers so effectively, which is not necessarily what we've always attributed Spain with. We really think about the players that sit in the middle and kind of pass the ball around in the, the spaces in the centre of the pitch. And actually, now they're exploiting this whole new area, it feels like, and this new generation are bringing about a bit of flair. And, all right, people might be laughing at Williams and, and Yamal for their TikTok videos, but what they're doing on the pitch is <laughs> is really proving themselves on, on a major stage. And I think it'd be interesting to see whether there's any movement around either of them over the summer. Because there's talk that PSG are lining up a world record bid for Yamal. And yeah. Williams obviously will have a buyout and there's already talk of a lot of clubs watching them, but they've definitely given themselves a platform and, and they're making Spain probably the favourites for the tournament at the moment. They've been the best side. I think so. Well, it's funny, Spain and Germany do have a lot of similarities and parallels with the amount of youth in their team. And obviously the pairing, like you say, the young pairing of Yamal and, and Nico Williams is just like one of the, the pairings that's really made the difference for Spain. And Williams in particular, Dave, he only turns 22, I think, next week. But he's showing the kind of maturity that I think even Yamal is looking up to him as some kind of mentor, isn't he? They've got like this big brother, little brother relationship that's really making a difference to the way Spain attack. And I looked at Spain, I must admit, before the tournament and saw Alvaro Morata being the captain and starting every game and thought, what have they got going forward? But the width, like Miles said, has proved really successful for them, hasn't it? Yeah, and I think the relationships all across that front line, I think it's, you know, it's blossomed. Uh, yeah, I think Nico Williams is... He's going to be a bargain, I think, for anyone who gets him that re- release clause. Well, apparently um, not for his wages, though. Apparently he's asking for crazy money. That's put a lot of clubs up. I mean, don't know, don't all agents, you know, they're mm-hmm. they're going to try and get the best deal for for their uh, for their clients as they can. Nico Williams, he's he's going from strength to strength. I just feel as though he, like you say, he's got that experience around him to guide him as well. Like some Morata, mm-hmm. who's in there, um, Rodri, and again, he's been one of the players of the tournament for me so far. It's, mm. it's so good to watch and Pedri as well you forget that, that you know we've mentioned before their midfield is so well balanced and seems to make the difference but I think for me Miles Williams has been the player that stood out quite a lot Yamal there was a lot expected of him but I didn't quite expect Williams to be as progressive and as forward and as, as adept at this level as, as he is has he surprised you mm. particularly? Well, he's been on my radar for a little while because Villa were looking at him for pretty much as soon as Emery yeah. came in. So it's been over 12 months now. And obviously kind of following in the footsteps of his, his brother as well. So it's interesting you mentioned about Yamal being like his little brother when he's literally had his football education from his big brother at, at club level as well. He's he's electric, isn't he? He's got bundles and bundles of pace, but seems to have the the know-how of how to beat a man as well without using it. Like the way the ball sticks to his feet. It's a really archetypal winger and we are, I don't know, it's been a while since we've seen that for for Spain yeah. particularly. So, yeah, I think it's excellent to see him kind of kick on and lead the team forward. They needed a talismanic figure, really, for all the organisation that we praise them for in the middle. You're right, we talked about Morata and thought that's not someone who's going to spearhead a successful attack to get them deep in a tournament. But apparently Williams is and that, that's excellent for Spain. 